All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel, you so called Black Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, Seminole Indians, Central Americans, all right, and South Americans. And then you have a, a large amount of Israelites that are in other countries that look like uh, the heathen, all right. And uh, this is a World War Three update. Something big, very big, is about to happen, all right. The United States says it is now convinced that this was the work of Iran. The weekend attacks on two massive oil production plants has had a global impact economically and could be about to shift the security dial across the region. With these satellite images and others which the US is keeping classified, American intelligence analysts claim that cruise missiles were used, not just drones, and that they were fired from Iran, not Yemen. In the red boxes, holes are visible. They are, according to U.S. officials, piercings made by the missiles. There are at least 17 impact points. One of the two sites was toured by Saudi Energy Minister Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman, although state TV didn't show any images of the damage. Other than declaring that the attacks had temporarily cut the country's oil production in half, we still don't have a clear idea of how bad the damage is or how long the facilities will be out of action. A spokesman for the Saudi military said their initial investigation at the site tallied with the U.S. assessment. The weapons that were used in a terrorist attack, whether it be an ab cake or coup race, initial evidence shows that these weapons are Iranian weapons, and we are investigating this. The Iranian President Rouhani is in Turkey at the moment at a regional conference. The Glasgow-educated lawyer and cleric gave little away at the photo op. In Tehran, a government spokesman denied any involvement. Oh, and of course, uh, Babylon the Great, America, all right, she wants to, uh, the, the international bankers, they want to go into Persia or Iran, and they want to control the economy of Iran. That's what they ultimately want to do, and that's what they're going to do as well. How it says in the book of Ezekiel, all right, uh, the thirty, uh, the thirty-eighth chapter, all right, and uh, that's going to help kick off this war too, all right. A lot of, a lot of big things is about to happen, all right. America wants to go in and, and set up a puppet government and control uh, their economy. Uh, Iran is a uh, wealthy country. We reject these types. And. Uh, and, and uh, when America try to do this, uh, the Medes, or better yet known as the Russians, and the Medes, I call it the Medes because of Isaiah, the, uh, I believe it's the 13th or the 14th chapter, where it, has, it states that the Medes are going to rise up against Daughter Babylon, or uh, Mystery, not Mystery Babylon, but I think it says Daughter Babylon, and uh, that refers to the Russians. The Russians are going to ultimately... Uh, be one of the main partakers to destroy America but these other countries they're going to turn on Babylon the Great too and, and, and make her desolate with fire the statements and projections the Islamic Republic of Iran has clearly declared that it supports the people of Yemen and their rights but to accuse Iran of these attacks and defensive measures is in line with the US policy of maximum falsehood see Back in June, the United States it said that it lines with maximum falsehood. So ultimately, America, because <laughs> you don't know these, you don't know how uh, fucked up these Edomites are, these so-called white people are. All right, the the the, the head people over the military, the in, the international bankers, the Rothschilds, Gettys, the Duponts, all right, and so on and so forth, and uh, the 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 Jewish, the Amalekites, the head leaders of those people. They will sit here and uh, do the attacks themselves. They will attack their own shit, their own infrastructures and so forth to blame it on another country, just like how they did with 9-11, all right? 9-11 was a planned attack, and they blamed it on Osama bin Laden, and ultimately they went into Iraq, all right? And now that country's fucked up. It was way worse now. 
than before when Saddam ruled. Trump called off at the very last minute a retaliatory strike on Iran. Now he says his military is locked and loaded again. The Iranian judgment may well be that he's bluffing because domestically he's after re-election, not another war. In two tweets, the U.S. president said first that he was waiting to hear from the kingdom as to who they believe was the cause of the attack and under what terms we would proceed. And then, the Iranians say they had nothing to do with the attack on Saudi Arabia. We'll see. Tonight in New York, the U.S. ambassador used the U.N. chamber to echo her government's accusations against Iran. As Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has clearly stated, there is no evidence that the attacks came from Yemen. Emerging information indicates that responsibility lies with Iran. It's also emerged today that Iran had seized another commercial vessel in the Gulf. It accused its crew of smuggling fuel to the United Arab Emirates. It is still holding a British flag vessel seized in July. All of this together amounts to a dangerous escalation with wide implications economically and for regional peace. Mark Stone, Sky News.